Yo, YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. We got Fernando and Thamid, two of the new hosts on the Cash Cow and AC Sports Report. And guys, we just watched a what was a really, really good game, uh, watching the Heat and Mavs. But in a lot of senses, showed that I think the Mavs are more of a team than the Heat. I think the Heat have played with no heart. That includes LeBron James. I think Dwayne Wade came out there tonight and tried to put the team on his back. And it just got a little too ridiculous for my liking at the end when you drive down and get blocked by uh, Tyson Chandler. But, uh, Thomas, we'll start with you. What do you think, man? Uh, man, I'm really disappointed about LeBron James because I was expecting him to have a huge Game 5, right? I mean, the guy pretty much disappeared throughout the whole series except for Game 1. Um, yeah, he, LeBron did have a tri triple-double, but in the fourth quarter, he scored only two points. Like, when you're the best player in the world, you can't really do that. And I think... Um, LeBron, if he doesn't score 30 a game, he's really hurting the team. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Let, let's go through some of these stats before I get to you, Fernando. Uh, D Wade tonight was 6 of 12 shooting, 23 points, and that's missing some time, so he played decent. I didn't like how he played down the stretch. So Mike Bibby, as usual, doesn't get it done. He has two points in the game. Quality job by him. Chalmers should be starting at this point. I don't, I don't even care. Uh, LeBron James, 8 of 19 shooting, 17 points. I'm sorry, 17 points. you got to have 20 for me to really consider it a triple-double. And when you're LeBron James, you got to have 25 points. He is not getting it done right now. And people can say, oh, well, he's getting the assists. He's getting the rebounds. When you're LeBron James and you have had all this hate, I don't understand how you can come out here and just almost be flat in these games. So what if your wife cheated with Rashard Lewis? Rashard Lewis is a loser. You're the best player in the NBA, and Kobe Bryant put it aside when he was going through the rape trial. You need to be able to do the exact same things and not put Al Gasol here. Joel Anthony, two points in the game. I mean, he's not a scorer, though. But rebounds-wise, zero rebounds, so he did not get it done. Only played 16 minutes. Chris Bosh, 19 points, 6 of 12 shooting. He hasn't had a very, I, I can't say he's had a good series after how he played the first two games, but he's been a lot better. Uh, Chalmers has 15 off the bench again for them today, so starting point guard if you ask me. For the Mavs, Dirk Nowinski, 29 points, 9 of 18 shooting. The national media is going to suck as you know what more than they already have this entire series for hitting that late shot. They're going to be, oh, LeBron can't hit it, even though he did in the Bulls series. LeBron can't hit it. Wade, or Dirk just turned on him and dunked on. I, I don't know. Something about that looked like a walk to me, three steps, but I, I don't know. I mean, I don't... I disagree a bit because I think Dirk res d deserves all the props he gets because you have to remember that he has no all-star on his team. His, his second best player is a sixth man. It's Jason Terry. So Dirk, and he's shooting 50% like throughout the playoffs, right? So what he's doing is really impressive, if you ask me. Yeah, no, I, I understand it's impressive, and not, that's not even what I'm aiming. I'm aiming for the fact that the national media wouldn't be doing this if he wasn't playing against LeBron James. Because, yeah, I, I definitely agree. yeah, I mean, they have absolutely done a 360 with Dirk. At the beginning of the playoffs, Dirk was a guy who was a great player and couldn't get it done in the playoffs. Now Dirk is Jesus Christ. I mean, it's it's silly to me. And let's go through a few more of these math stats. 13 points for Jason Kidd. Obviously hits the dagger late in that one. Sean Marion has 8 points. Probably his worst game this entire series. J.J. Barea for once did not hurt them. 17 points, 5 assists. Tyson Chandler, 13 points, 2 blocks. Good game out of him. Uh, Fernando, what were your thoughts on this game? Um, you guys pretty, already, pretty much already said everything I wanted to say, but um, I think when Dwayne Wade exited the game, I think you guys left out how well Le uh, LeBron James and Chris Bosh did uh, getting rebounds. They each had 10 in, uh, on the game. And I think uh, LeBron James needed to step up once, uh, once Dwayne Wade got out. He failed to do so again with 17 points. Um, Chris Bosh outdid LeBron James with 19, and they, once again, they both had 10 rebounds. I think Jason Terry did crazy with 21 points off the bench, and um, just uh, Dirk Nowitzki just showed up LeBron James and the Heat team, and the better team won today. Yeah, I mean, so the series will now shift back to Miami, 3-2, uh, to two, and right now it's looking like Jason Terry isn't... 
not shift back to Dallas because the next two games are in Miami. No, no, yeah, that's what I said. I said Miami. So it'll shift back to Miami. Jason Terry right now looking like he might not have to get that tattoo off. Here's what has to happen in my mind. LeBron James in these next two games has to have 27, 30 points plus. I'm sorry. He has to go out there. But Chris Bosh Chris Bosh isn't LeBron James. Chris Bosh isn't the guy that is getting all this hate. I, I just I don't understand as an athlete how LeBron James can get all this hate and then come out flat. I, I don't understand how you can do that. If that's me, I'm coming out there and getting 30 points a night. I'm coming out there. I know he's facing great defense, but I'm driving more to the hoop. He is settling for shots that he doesn't need to take because he can beat people inside. He's trying to be the big shot guy that he's not. Whether he's tired, whether it's about this divorce thing with his... I don't even know if it's divorce. Whether it's about living up to an expectation by the media, it's stupid. LeBron got here by not caring what people thought for the most part, and if he's going to care what they think, the Heat might as well pack it in now. Oh, I agree. But LeBron really needs to toughen up mentally. I mean, it's, it's definitely something mental. Uh, LeBron, as we all know, he could take over games at will, but, you know, he's just not being himself right now. And, uh, you know, I think a good coach would toughen him up mentally. I mean, Spolstra... Sucks. You know, Phil, <laughs> Phil, Phil Jackson said the Miami Heat play Xbox offense, all right? I completely agree with him. I think Spolstra, he has no clue what he's doing, especially on on the offensive end. Um, so, I mean, if, if they get a competent coach, I think LeBron might do better in the finals when when it matters the most but there, there's got to be something there's got to be something in LeBron that just makes him want to put that team on his back all that he's heard and especially these last two games you're doing the same thing you did last year I don't understand how you can come out and shoot the way LeBron James did today he's got to shoot more a he's got to drive more he's got to score more points it's as simple as that. Fernando, what do you want to say, man? But Dwayne Wade needs to do better, too. He's, he's got the championship experience. He needs to do exceptionally well, just as well as LeBron James is doing. Yeah, but Dwayne Wade, again, is not facing what LeBron James is doing. People want to put LeBron James at this status of he can't get it done. They're not putting Dwayne Wade at that for the simple reason that they are going to do anything that can go against LeBron James. So if Dwayne Wade plays... LeBron James essentially had a better game than Dwayne Wade today, similar. But uh, Dwayne Wade has had a better series, offensively speaking. Now, the people who said after like the first two games that, oh, well, Wade's carrying this team, LeBron's choking. When LeBron was dropping 20, had 10 assists and how many rebounds, that was stupid. The people are saying it now, I'm not sure are stupid. But I think now that Dwayne Wade is going to get less attention because of his hip that said that he could be limping the rest of the series, I think less attention is going to be on Wade, more attention is going to be, even more attention is going to be on LeBron James. So Dwayne Wade really needs to step it up to a whole nother level in this next game, in this next game here in uh, Miami. Yeah, he does. I, I think the Heat will win game six. I do. I think they're not going to come out and lose a game six. Game seven, it's up for grabs. I mean, LeBron James can... Right now, he'll take the hit for this, even if they win the series. But if LeBron James can come out these next two games and have great games and the Heat win, have him put the team on their back, he can. when you look at this in history, people are going to say, wow, he, he put the team on his back when it counted. And I've been waiting for him to do that. With all this hate and everything coming at him, I thought he would just try and take over a game, and I haven't seen that from him. I agree. I mean, you also have to keep in mind that LeBron James already lost the finals against the Spurs. So I thought he would come out really hard um, in this series. You know, I, I thought he was really hungry for the ring. But, you know, he's showing us that he doesn't really care about winning and, and answer his critics. I mean, if LeBron and the Heat lose this series, he definitely has to do something to play better in the later stages of the playoffs. I think the first two games it was about I just want to win. I just I'll pass the ball. I just want to win a title. I, I don't want to be the king with no rings anymore. These last th these last two games it's just been wh what the hell is LeBron James doing? Like what is he? I think LeBron James thinks he's out too because he said before the game today, now or never on Twitter, and um, what happened? It's over. Yeah. Uh, so I think James is mentally. How you guys were saying he's mentally not tough. 
I think after this loss where he said it's now or never, I think he's going to be even more mentally incompetent of playing well in the next year, in the next game. And I just I don't know if I can see the Heat coming back to win this. I think he is mentally tough to a sense, but I think it's all. He wasn't made mentally tough, you know. He had this image in Cleveland. He was this good guy that everyone liked, and I, I don't know where that went because I've never seen this guy get in trouble off the court. But I think it's almost like he said, you know what, I'll suck it up throughout the year because we're going to go win. And it's kind of just boiled over during these NBA Finals, which is the worst possible time for it to happen. He doesn't have that Kobe mentality. LeBron James is twice the player skill set-wise that Kobe Bryant is. But he doesn't have that winning attitude. Or, no, that's not the correct way to phrase it. He doesn't have that, now's the time, I gotta take this to the hoop and score. The way Wade tried to have it that end of that game, and it didn't work. I think LeBron's gonna eat his own words. If I mean, I hope it doesn't happen for him. Because he, I remember, like, when the Big Three was formed, he said uh, Miami will not win five or six championships, they'll win seven straight championships, something like that. So, I mean, I thought he would back up his words, but, you know, like, I mean, it's really disappointing to see how he he hyped up the big three, and now, like, he's kind of choking, so he, he, he can't do that, like, you know, like, there's, I kind of understand why people hate him, like, you know, some people hate him for unnecessary reasons, you know, especially Kobe charts, whatever, but other people hate him because, you know, if they, if they think he's arrogant and stuff, and, really, you know, when he says they're going to win seven straight championships and, you know, he can't even back up his words, then that makes him look really bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I thought LeBron had that in him. I thought it was always just he never got to the situation where he really felt a need to just put a team on his back and prove everyone wrong. And I think he got there this season. In that Bulls series, I felt he did quite a bit of that. But it's almost like after the Celtics series and the Bulls series, he partied so hard and it's like he accomplished what he set out to do, and that was not a championship, apparently. I, I don't know what LeBron James is doing right now, but I know he needs to come out a lot better in Game 6 and Game 7 if they're even going to have a chance. Wade is not going to be at 100% for the rest of this series. It's as simple as that. This is LeBron's time now. You're not going to see Chris Bosh take this over. You're not going to see any of that. This has got to be LeBron's time, and if LeBron doesn't step up, Dirk, Jason Terry, and Jason Kidd will be perfectly fine with taking that ring from him. Oh, definitely. Uh, but, you know, you have to still give credit to the Dallas Mavericks. I mean, you know, they get, they, they kind of did a good job at shutting down LeBron. And um, Tyson Chandler, I mean, he's, you know, I saw him, I saw Dirk yell at Tyson Chandler late in the game because he made a bad mistake. You know, Dirk passed the ball to Chandler. He messed up, whatever. And, you know, Dirk really really yelled at him and t what what Tyson does after he gets charged from LeBron then he blocks a big big clutch shot from Dwayne Wade I mean I don't think Miami has that type of leader Dirk remember he called out Jason Terry a few day days ago you know he said he's not closing games well then during the game he called out Tyson Chandler and he responded you know he, he did good blocks and stuff uh, Miami what they I think what they really lack is a good leader who calls out their players and uh, who forces them to play well. I think LeBron felt he could defy all odds and just go with a, a two, two real good players and just win. I don't think he felt he needed a leader, and I don't think he feels a need to stand up to D-Wade. LeBron isn't the type that you see like screaming in the huddle. And The final thing I want to get to, the Mavs play like a team. A lot of that comes from having a real coach, a lot of that comes from having the same players together, and a lot of that comes with not having guys who have been the number one on their team. They have three guys, the Heat, that have been the number one on their team. And it's like they don't even feel a need to have a team. They just, I, I don't see the Heat, I don't see anyone on the Heat standing and yelling, yo, Joe Anthony, you got to step it up. I see that on the Mavs. For the Heat, it's like, okay, we're going to let someone have a real good game. We'll pick them up, and hopefully we win the game. And also the Mavericks defense, what about that? I totally agree with both of you that they've been playing off the hook and I mean as much as we can say that the Miami's offense has been playing not have, not, not how they used to the Dallas Mavericks have been playing off the hook on defense and doing a great job containing LeBron, Bosch, and Wade Yeah, the Heat look over their head on offense and the Mavs almost look like 
you know what, we knew we were going to be here. We knew we were going to do this, and everyone else was wrong. We're not surprised at all by this. We're just going out there and doing what we know we can do. Oh, I agree with you, Tim. Um, the Mavs players, they know their roles very well. Um, the Heat player players, I mean, yeah, their bench sucks, but they don't really know their roles. I mean, LeBron, he really looks confused out there. He doesn't know if he's the main guy of their team or he, if he's the second guy or the third guy. I mean, it's it's really sad that he's taking less shots than Chris Bosh. I mean, yeah, today he didn't, but last game he took like 11 shots, and Chris Bosh took more shots than him. That I mean, that stuff can't happen if the Heat, the Heat wants to win the championship. Yeah, I'm looking on ESPN.com, something you probably shouldn't do when you're looking for any coverage of LeBron James or the Miami Heat. LeBron gets a B for this game. I give him a B-. minus. They're saying he gets a B. They, they're giving Dwayne Wade an A-. minus. I, I give him just a straight B. They're giving Chris Bosh a B. I give him a B-. minus. They're giving the Heat defense a D, which is deserving. And they give the whole Mavs team an A. Because anything that can take down the Heat, they're going to... They, they'd give that an A if the Heat won the game. But the Mavs do deserve an A today. They, they played tremendous. And I, you got to give it up to the Mavs. It's not all just the Heat playing awful. Uh, I'm Tim. He's Thomas. He's Fernando. We'll see you later.